Hey everyone, uh, travel addict guy here. I'm still in Porto, Portugal, and today something interesting. I am in a cemetery, and this is the cemetery of Prado do Repouso. It was established in the 18th century. The style is neoclassical and neo-gothic. Here's a little history of this place. The lands today occupied by the cemetery were part of the bishops Quinta do Prado in the 16th century. The lands were part of an estate over the river transformed by D. Frei Marcos of Lisboa against the interest of the Portense prelates in order to shelter sick clerics or those that required respite from their works. Unfortunately, the site was never used for this purpose. The site had a small chapel dedicated to Sao Tomas, likely associated mm -hmm with Bishop Di Tomas de Almeida. And I love visiting places like this, guys. You get a feel of the city and some of the history behind it, some of the people that lived here. And let's face it, guys, we are all gonna face a place like this one day or another. We all have this bond as humans, humanity of life and death. Let's take a look around, guys, and look at some of these mausoleums. They are absolutely interesting. This one is home to Jose Augusto Correa de Barros. He lived from 1835 to 1908. He was an engineer and mathematician. And he was also president of the Camara Municipal do Porto. So he was also the mayor of Porto in 1881. Very interesting, guys. So this was the former mayor of Porto in there in 1881. Look at that. If you were the former mayor, you get a mausoleum like that and a statue. This place is very much alive. I'm seeing older uh, mausoleums and things next to newer grave sites. And some people were visiting these as a wow. And look at this place. There's even some fresh flowers here. And you've got a stained glass window to the side. Look at that, guys. So, very interesting here. Don't know what year that is from. So, look at this place. Something different today, guys. This place is just massive. To me, they are quite interesting places like this. Look at this grave here. Look at that. It's almost rubbed off the, the years. Look at that. And I've seen so many different things like that throughout this place. Look at that one over there. Wow, is that Jesus? There's a lot of cleanup work going on, guys. So I don't want to disturb anyone. Take a look at the age on these. And this cross here, look how gnarly that is. Look at that in the background with the trees and the colors. And you've got the different colors here in Porto. Look at that something that reminds me of back home in michigan guys look at that so this place is just just massive i was trying to find the oldest graves and monuments but not so easy look at this tree here i just love the artwork too guys look at the artwork of this we have a monument here and this says this mausoleum was erected by the famous Enriqueta Amelia da Conceição with a statue of St. Francis. Look at that. This one is a tribute to Joao Baptista Ribeiro. He was a painter and teacher who lived from 1790 to 1868. Look at that guy. So much history here in this place. Probably a lot of famous people from Porto also live here. Wow, that is one of the older ones that I've seen so far. Look at these grand mausoleums, look at that. Here's another large one. And you've got a bust there. This is so cool, guys. And this is Domingo Jose Ferreira Cardoso. Looks like he died in 1865. And there's a bust of him up there. Look at that, guys. Just some beautiful artwork as well in here, guys. 
And this is the Weeper statue, it's called. Wow. And burial monument by. So this is actually telling you the artist, 1811 to 1872. Wow, they did a lot of work back then. Look at this one, it almost has an anchor there. Was this person, that is definitely cool. Look at that, you have a anchor and a chain going over the cross. This person must have been a, a seafaring person, maybe a ship's captain, someone important like that, guys. Unbelievable. Look at these rows. And like I said, a lot of them are still being kept up. Absolutely massive. And again, we've got the old with the new. Look at this one here with the eagle on it. Absolutely stunning. Still being kept up. been some kind of general here look at this guys very very cool and you have this monument here and you can see we are very close to the city I think we can see the river from over there even so beautiful fall day the Sun is out look at that look at this background this place is built on a hill you can see that near the river kind of hard to see with the wall there but nevertheless a very very cool place guys I don't know I just love places like this I guess you really see the history and you could see some people and you actually get up close to some of these people guys and know that they were real people instead of people that were written in books and things like that and I don't know just something about it I just love to explore places like this They light candles and you have the cross with Jesus on that look at that and people lighting candles to their loved ones wow that is spectacular guys I'll have to admit look at the artwork on this one you can see that age on the door and look at that guys look at that artwork cross above and you have some artwork there too even here we have some beautiful artwork I'm just fascinated by the artwork and you can see that a lot of these monuments were giving credit to the to the builders to the sculptors to the architects I mean that is a lot of work to design these these are many buildings look at them they are so so interesting some even have stained glass look at the inside of this one oh, you can see in there these are built to last to withstand time look at this one it even has a this is cool guys look at that it has a head of a pharaoh on there look at that look at that look at the design on this it's supposed to be some kind of pyramid Look at that. Look at the coloring on that door. That is so cool. Look at this one next door. Wow, that is so lifelike, guys. That statue. Look at that. It looks like he's standing there. That is amazing. Is there a date on that? 1878. 1808 to 1878. Wow. Very cool. Is that a woman? Looks like a woman to me. Look at that, she's got the clothes on from the period, like that. More people coming in to pay their respects. I think it is a very cool place. I do feel honored to have a chance to be here. And as I'm leaving guys, I see this military man here. Look at that bust. Wow, that is really cool. And this is Franciscus de Almada. 
E Mendonca. Look at that, guys. I'd love to know some more about him. Wow, definitely an important figure here. Look at that. There's one more statue I'd like to talk about here. And this is a monument to the memory of the victims of the revolt of January 31st, 1891 at Porto. Wow, look at that. Amazing statue there. So definitely a lot to see here in this, what is now a cemetery, but there's so much more to see here, guys. Look at that. Even some more in the background. And from here we can see some of the other bridges that we are very close to two other bridges here. So you can see I moved away from the center a bit now. And even in the background here is gonna be the first bridge, the main bridge I will call it. Another bridge. Wow, so many bridges here in Porto. You can see the entrance to the cemetery there. And let's go over here and get a look of the river, guys. So, wow, look at that. Another way to go down even. Look at the river. Wow, there's so many cool views of the river and of all these places where people live. Take a look. So you get an idea of where I'm located now, guys. Look at that. Just amazing. So something different today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And always trying to show you something new and different on my channel, guys. So we'll see you in the next video. A travel addict, a guy. Take care, everyone.